you something and it will tell you everything what's going on. How do they do that? When you're trying to see whether the rice is cooked, do you take every grain out and see if it is cooked? <laughs> you just take one little grain and see, oh, it's not cooked yet, so let's let it continue for a few minutes. So if it is well baked and cooked and everything, you will know it from a sample of blood. So blood is a very intelligent tissue. It is as important that Sushruta, which is uh, um, one of the Samhitas of Ayurveda, they say that Rakta is almost the fourth dosha, along with Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Rakta could be considered as a fourth dosha itself. And um, in the Greek medicine, in the Yunani medicine, they consider Rakta as the fourth dosha also. So Rakta Dhatu represents the red blood cells in the body. It is the second tissue in the body which is very important. It is named due to its color. Rakta simply means red. It forms six days from the day when you eat food. So whatever you are going to eat today, it will be converted into your red blood cells after six days. And if you eat <coughs> more stupid things in those six days, and if you eat all junk in, in six days, that will carry out further six days. So whatever you eat today will convert into your quality of blood in six days. So in general, that the micronutrition of that ahar rasa, which is created in the first day, the rasa is created in the first day, and the nutrients which are flowing through that rasa will be converting itself to rakta, it will be in six days. Okay? So you have to wait until that time. So rakta dhatu takes six days, and it measures about eight anjali. We say it's about five, five and a half liters of blood you have in the body. But that blood contains plasma as well as water, both. But we are talking about red blood cells. It is about eight anjali. And the quality of the rakta is given a lot of importance. So the upadhatus are tendons and blood vessels. As I said that uh, tendons are also very qu important quality. And uh, one of the common um, issues what we have with tendon is called as tendonitis. <coughs> is the inflammation of pitta which affects the tendons. So when you have too much of heat and fire, which will create an inflammation in your tendons and will create an imbalance of rakta, which will create tendonitis. But there is also something which is called as inflammation in the blood vessels. Have you heard this term before? Mm -hmm. It's called as the inflammation in the blood vessels. And nowadays it has become so important that they are labeling inflammation as the silent killer. You know that? Earlier, they used to say in medicine uh, that this cholesterol plaque, which is in your arteries and vessels, which is going to kill you, you're, it's going to create a stroke or it's going to create a heart disease and, and heart attack and things like that. But nowadays, what they're saying is, yeah, you may have a little bit of a plaque here and there. That's not that of significant value. What is important is this blood vessel, if that gets inflamed, that is really damaging because that can get inflamed instantly. If this gets swollen, then this is very narrow. And that inflammation is something which is more responsible for strokes and heart disease than actual the plaques and things what is there. So what I'm talking here is when you talk about the blood which is flowing in here, if that gets really, really hot, it will create inflammation in here. So the pitta in the rakta will create the inflammation and will create a blockage. 